The Knowledge Library Daily Current Affairs News Headlines 18th December 2023 National News PM Modi launches Varanasi Development Projects Special drives fill 4445 faculty positions in Central Higher Education The Tourism Ministry today said that till the 31st of October this year the country has registered a footfall of 70 lakh 24000 foreign tourists Communications Minister Ashwini Vaishnav introduced Telecommunications Bill 2023 in Lok Sabha. 93.05 crore rupees paid in compensation to PMJDY rupee holders. The center today informed that in 2022 a total of 112 deaths took place in the country due to tiger attacks. The government today said that the Reserve Bank of India RBI had constituted a working group on digital lending including lending through online platforms and mobile apps. PM Modi inaugurates Swarved Mahamandir at Umraha in Varanasi, calls upon people to inculcate nine habits in life including water conservation. Union Minister Parshottam Rupala addresses inaugural session of animal health conclave, says India must become world leader in field of animal husbandry. Indian doctors of Army Hospital successfully conducts India's first bone marrow transplant. Space startups in India attract investment worth over 1000 crore rupees during last 9 months in current fiscal year. Prej dropped the Murmu on 6 day visit to West Bengal, Telangana and Rajasthan to attend 69th convocation of IIT Kanakpur. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates Diamond Bowls and new integrated terminal building of Surat Airport to also inaugurate second edition of Kashi Tamil Sangam 2023 at Namo Ghat in Varanasi. External Affairs Minister S Jay Shankar on Sunday emphasized on the need to reform the United Nations organization. International news. In the US, a large swath of residents along the eastern seaboard are under flood and wind alerts as the storm system that inundated the south moves north, bringing the same threats with it. The World Health Organization has urged nations to maintain strict surveillance and sequence sharing amid the increasing number of COVID cases. North Korea launches long-range ballistic missile toward waters between Korean Peninsula and Japan. US Customs and Border Protection CBP has decided to temporarily halt operations at the international railway crossing bridges in Eagle Pass and El Paso, Texas due to an increase in migrant border crossings. Argentina, at least 14 people killed and many injured in powerful storm in southwestern port city of Bahia Blanca. Sports news. The first ever Khelo India Para Games KIP concluded in New Delhi with Haryana winning the inaugural title by securing 105 medals including 40 gold, 39 silver and 26 bronze. In men's cricket, India defeated host South Africa by 8 wickets in the opening ODI of the three match series in Johannesburg last night. Thank you have a nice day ahead. Share and subscribe our channel.